So SoFi released their earnings after market close and they crushed it. On all metrics, they literally crushed it. Now, I was looking for Anthony Noder to say something cool like he did last time, which was the tanks don't roll, the planes don't fly, and ship don't sail without people. It's all about team and members. But no, he was much more laser focused this time. So let me share my screen and let's look at some amazing stuff. So the numbers came out and as I expected, they beat on revenue and they came out with some other numbers which we are going to cover in this video. So let's not waste any time and I will share what I see in the earnings and also the game plan going forward. So here is what was given to us in earnings and if you feel like it, then do hit the like button so we can reach out to more SoFi lovers and investors. So let's start with some high level stuff and we know that SoFi is all about members and also how to acquire member at low cost. I had mentioned in my previous video that we are going to see some great stuff from this company in the very near future. And I could see the start of it right here. Look at their member growth. They added total year over year member growth of about 96% or about 2.9 million members. They also added 377,000 new members, second highest quarterly increase in the company history from last quarter to this quarter. Amazing job guys, this is an amazing job from them. And in my previous video, I had mentioned that we could see as the app downloads were telling us that we could see the member growth of about 3 million, which is we are getting very close to that number. Now let's pay attention to the products and check this out. Total product went up 108% to 4.3 million right here, close to like 4.268, 4.3 million. This was their fifth consecutive quarter of year over year triple digit growth. Now, even though if I'm not a fan, I would still praise this company, but I'm a fan, so heck yeah, this was amazing, very amazing and impressive. Now let's talk about Galileo. If you pay attention, they actually got away with Galileo term or they are getting away from Galileo term because again, they want to have SoFi as a tech, fintech kind of a company more than anything else. Galileo is their tech platform and they added 89 million additional accounts in Q3. So almost 10 million more accounts than previous quarter. So in three months, they added 10 more million accounts, which is wow, amazing job in my opinion. So overall, an amazing quarter in member, services, and product growth. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights from the earnings call, and then we'll talk about what I plan on doing after. So these are some of the highlights right here. So I have actually given about eight highlights, which I really, really liked in the earnings call. Number one, increasing members resulting in declining member acquisition cost. This was the same as last quarter. This is an amazing thing and that's why I put on number one because this is their most important metrics. As they grow, they are not only growing internally because they are growing with more products, with more members, but they are growing organically. That means if they get a member for one product, that member can actually go into the second product without them spending any money. This is an amazing number one right here. Number two, record adjusted net revenue up 20% from previous quarter. 20% up in revenue. I knew that they were going to beat the revenue, but I wasn't expecting 20% beat. This is amazing. EBITDA from negative 7 million to positive 3 million. This is huge for a new company. Now, I know some of you over there, fintech people or somebody who likes more, so let's say Upstart or Lending Club, they all are amazing company. But this is a great growth without bank charter. So we know when the bank charter comes in, we are going to see even better numbers when it comes to EBITDA. Funded volume growth, highest revenue and a new high. This was an amazing number or actually I was very happy to hear this, that their funded volume growth is the, is the new high right now that they made in this quarter. Even with CARES Act, the lending segment adjusted net revenue had a record of 215 million. They kind of got affected with the CARES Act and of course student loan repayment. Even with all those, they hit a record of 215 million. So starting in January, we know that the student loan assistance from federal government is ending. After that, this number is only going to go up. Then delivered more than 1 billion of annualized revenue. They were supposed to do about 979 million as per last quarter. Now they're expected to do over a billion. And I feel they are going to get close to 1.1 to 1.15 billion for 2021. Their Q4 is going to be amazing. Holidays are coming, people need that money, people need that personal loan. So I feel we are going to see that sector grow like crazy for SoFi. Q4, around 49 to 50% growth year over year. And here I made a spelling mistake. Okay, I'm gonna fix it right now. Don't look at this guys, okay. 
All right, so I was doing it in a hurry. I wanted to quickly get it together and, and get the video out. Okay, so Q4, around 49 to 50% year-over-year growth. This is amazing. And then number eight, very well capitalized for long-term expansion. Current book value is 4.6 billion. They are really ready for the long-term expansion. They have so much money right now in their account, and especially being a young company, they are spending their money wisely. And that's why I give all the credit to the team. So now, let's take a look at three important questions that analysts asked. I only picked three questions because rest were too long and was not necessary for this call. You can always listen to the conference call later. Number one, how do you see the impact of new coins? So check this out. They started with five coins, and now they have added 25 coins. And we know that cryptocurrency is going to trend now for a very, very long time. I feel that we are going to see new higher highs of Bitcoin, Ethereum in the coming years. And SoFi is actually positioning itself to take advantage of that. It's really important for any new company or any new FinTech. When they are launching a new service or a new product, they need to think of their consumers, not just consumers, those who are using banking, but the same consumers who are using crypto, banking, stocks, loans, they have to think of them all together. So this was a very good news that they are actually open to starting and accepting more and more coins. And we know that they work with Coinbase. That is their provider of crypto trading. So I feel we are going to see a, a large number of increase in the coins that they are going to bring in in SoFi. Second, bank charter. So applied for bank holding company, this was of course I, a news that was actually very, very welcoming because again, there was some kind of an issue where they say that, you know what, anybody who applied for bank charter has to follow certain rules and regulation. Now SoFi started off applying as a traditional bank charter. Later on, they bought that Golden Pacific Bank, but before they applied for a traditional bank charter. So their application process was done to be a traditional bank charter process, not taking any shortcuts. So this is a really welcoming news and again, this gave me an indication of one more thing which we are going to talk about towards the end of the video. And then next, Anthony Noto said, working to finalizing the last mile. Of course, they're working hard to get the bank charter approval, and I have an idea of a timeline. I'm gonna discuss it towards the end of the video. Number two, tech platform. Many new services will be launched in 2022. This is really exciting because again, I said in my previous videos that tech is really important for fintechs because that's how they define revenue. When they launch new services, the cost of acquisition per customer is very less. So this is really exciting. Number three, where are we headed? This was a great question. I mean, you have an amazing growth. You are breaking record. You had a good revenue, but where are we headed from here? That was the main question. We are going really fast. We have really good understanding of our members with the product and come up with new product. So this was really good. Anthony Noto actually described this in a very, very, I would say a very business language. They say, you know what, we know our customers very well. Based on what they like, we create new products so customers like them like those products as well. See, everything comes down to data. If you are good with your data, you are going to succeed in this world. And that's why Palantir or companies like Palantir are going to be backbone for all of this. So I feel data is really, really key and SoFi is honing on basically collecting as much data as possible. That is why Affirm is the leader. And I have a video coming on Affirm too. Affirm also killed it. I bought actually like few calls, around 10 calls for, for um, I think January of 2023 and about five calls of this January to a very close strike price at towards the end. They are going to print tomorrow. A firm also broke all records. So this is really exciting that we are seeing this young companies, these companies, those who are taking advantage of this data and tech and actually coming up or coming out with products and services, which really what the consumer want. It's not a traditional bank that is boring and you know they will just continue to offer those checking accounts, saving accounts. No, they are coming out with some amazing stuff here. Okay, so now we have seen that they had a strong quarter. And with this strong momentum, what is the best way to take advantage of it? So here, this is my holding right now. And I'm gonna show you again, and as I have showed you before, so these were the 100 calls that I bought on Friday, okay? Now these 100 calls were down today 18% because the market was down 18%. But of course, I'm not sweating or I'm not getting worried over. But look at this, I had 10 17.5 or 17 and a half dollar calls for April 2022. I got out of five when we had the run up on Monday because I saw the run up, it went up to like 22 something. I was like, you know, this is a good run up. Let me get out of half of those because I don't like Terra Decay in my calls. I don't like when we have like market just not feeling right and don't know what to do because 
because Tesla was crashing and I saw all the other stocks coming down, I got out of five of those calls. I still hold five because I was waiting for the earnings. So tomorrow, my plan is I'm gonna, or today when you're watching this video, I'm going to actually get out of these five calls. I'm gonna close this position completely because I feel I will have a better chance in the next few days after things cool down to pick up the same calls at a cheaper price to where they are right now. Again, I might not be able to get it when I got it at two and nine, I don't know, but I think I'll be able to get it cheaper than what I will sell tomorrow. This is going to be big tomorrow. Then on these, I'm going to actually hold on to my puts. As I mentioned before, I'm going to hold on to my these two positions. Over here, I'm going to trim 50 calls. I'm gonna sell 50 calls over here. If I see the charts in my favor, and if I see the premium in my favor. Of course, I look at how volatile the stock is, and where's the IV range, where's the delta, and if I see it's in my favor, I'm going to get out of 50 calls, otherwise I'll just only get out of 25. But I will trim this position in a little bit more to take advantage of this strong momentum and this strong day. This is what I do always. Now, this is the chart, and as you can see, as soon as we got the earnings, we got this nice flight of green candles right here and the volume came gushing in. I will actually pull up some charts on the volume to see what kind of volumes and what prices the stock was sold. So if you enjoy content like this, then do me a favor and hit the like button and hit subscribe so you belong to this channel and so you do not miss on future videos. Okay, so this is how SoFi ended the call. This is exactly what they said. Now the only thing, this is SoFi's uh, words by the way. Now the only thing that stands between where we are today and our long-term aspirations for SoFi is us. And we have absolutely no doubt that we have the right strategy, the right team, and the right goals to deliver all those aspirations and more. This is an amazing ending statement. I was literally loved when I read this because they are really relying on the team, which is any company should do. It's the people who steer the ship. It's the people who fly the plane. It doesn't matter how big of a product or good of a product you have. If you don't have a good team, you are not going to be successful. This company is amazing and their team is amazing. Now, if earnings wouldn't be today, and I'm gonna switch gears here, and the way market is going, what do you think would have happened to SoFi? It would have gone down. So that is why we need to take advantage of this momentum. As I mentioned, I will be getting out of the April 1750 calls because I feel the IV is high on them and I wanna take advantage of that. Now, I'm gonna talk about bank charter for a minute here. So I could be completely wrong, but I have a feeling, again, my opinion only, entertainment purposes only. I have a feeling that they will come out with a charter from January 1st, 2022, or they will start the year with the bank charter. Because I feel they will start the year fresh on the books, so January 1st, 2022 will be a good time for them to start. And remember, according to the timeline, they have till April of 2022 to start the bank charter. So they have all this time. I don't think they're gonna give us the charter news right now because on the call, Anthony Noto, what he said was that we are actually going in the last mile and it looks like they still have some work to do internally. So I feel that maybe January 1st, 2022 would be the time when they will give us the bank charter. Again, my opinion only, entertainment purposes only. I hope I provided some value to you and if you got anything from the video, then consider subscribing and hit the like button so we can reach out to more SoFi lovers. As always, an absolute pleasure to share all of this with you. Until next time, you all have a sparkling day. Thank you